Well, that was I, well, I was uh, in the Essex station one time. This is a little bit of. Uh, New York talk NY City talk mm-hmm. uh, We have uh, underground trains here Which carried all the slaves uh, <laughs> underground to, to so, Manhattan yeah. So we have uh, Oh me. man we, Adam was it you that told me that uh, And it's not true But it's mm-hmm. so, such a funny lie That Newark is named Newark Yeah because, <laughs> to, trick oh the, to trick the somebody, slaves yeah, yeah somebody told Adam this And he told me that the reason Newark <laughs> Is called Newark was to trick black people Into moving there Newark. Instead of New York Because it was the last stop before New York yeah. on the way, So, like, that they so would, you thought someone telling you Like the racist equivalent Of like a Polak joke Like about like the punchline mm-hmm. Is like a, a misunderstanding Well listen first of all that's the first thing you I was that- ever told in my life <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I believe that for 29 years <laughs> You knew nothing I believe it still I think it actually happened Well anyhow yeah, I was saying So I was at the Essex station And uh, the train was stopped Like halfway down the platform Because someone had jumped In front of the train Oh damn So they were just dead On the tracks or whatever And you could like Yeah I've seen know. a dead uh, Yeah Really? Yeah. yeah so yeah. Uh you know, they're like asking everybody, you know, as an announcement, like, due to a customer involved uh, incident, <laughs> <laughs> please leave the station. And so, you know, the fire department's walking down, and we're all walking out, and one of like the fire chiefs, this like old grizzled dude, you know, like fucking built like a brick house, is just like is standing at the top of the steps, you know, like mustache. And, uh, these two like teenage girls are talking to him and they look like they're 12 years old and he's like yeah there's a dead body on the tracks <laughs> so, so they gotta get that dead body <laughs> off the track <laughs> just like telling Come them on, man. Yeah. that shit fucked my like it fucked my month up when I saw that I didn't see the whole dead body but I saw it like a leg and a shoe yeah Ooh, that shit was fucked, fucked. Up. and then it was just like a million people with their fucking phones out yeah and oh, then we got terrible. and then everyone got <laughs> yelled at to like leave the platform yeah. and it was it just like on a personal level too because like there was this one old chinese man who would not listen <laughs> to the firefighters like show some fucking respect he's just standing there smiling <laughs> <laughs> You know, really? He was, he was trying to get content. the most surreal shit I've ever seen. That's nightmare. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah he awesome. he literally had the the like most psychotic smile on his face. It's <laughs> oh like God. he knew the guy. I was so happy he was dead. Oh, he knew the guy. No, uh, but like God, I was like, that's not just Chinese people are. <laughs> yeah, they're happy when death comes. Well, yeah, they have no etiquette. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, really. What are you talking about? Chinese people are like famously obsessed with etiquette. Uh, well, their etiquette, you know. Which Chinese? The Chinatown Chinese? Because absolutely not. Okay, but you understand most You're applying Chinese Western people etiquette don't to it. live in Chinatown. Well, but where somebody's jumping in front of a train, I mean, yeah, that Chinese guy's probably a Chinatown guy. <laughs> I saw somebody taking a dump on the sidewalk in broad daylight. It was a Chinese guy. <laughs> that, oh, I said that, that proves shit. it. No, you're right. I Nick. told you about that on uh, on Troop. I went around and uh, I saw this woman like <coughs> circling cars and leggings and like looking lost and right in front of that daycare she just pulled down her pants and just like a deluge of diarrhea oh, like oh, shot no. out I like, feel for her. that was probably an emergency it was maybe I feel two, for her this was I, they, were, they were smack shits she was totally like oh okay yeah she's like heroin's back baby well, it's the, the 90s there's this uh, oh, yeah man. this Chinese guy he was just sitting on the sidewalk heroin gives you the shits he was squatting yeah. usually it makes you constipated uh well, I think I it has coke something to do with pain. something else. No, they're doing. coke makes you poop. Coke makes you shit. Really? Well, yeah. Well, if it's cut well, with a lot poop of times stuff, it's cut with. Well, this Chinese guy, he's squatting there, and he not only was he shitting, he was. But this pulling, woman was like weaving. He was pulling like, the turds out of his ass with his hand. Yeah, that was awesome. That's an yeah. awesome part. Of yeah, the yeah. Tell me that. Yeah, he was a Chinese guy pulling turds out of his ass with his hand. And I excitedly called Adam and told him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're like this guy. Yeah. It's like he's never learned how to shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. He just doesn't know that he can wait. He's like, it's time to shit now. Just wait for. He's got to do it uh, Muslim style. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> well, that's what you it's called. Are, yeah, that's, that's what it's called where? In, in uh, all the Islamic countries. Every single one. In of the them. Islamic countries, they call it Muslim style. They call yeah, it waving, Muslim style. Waving your, your ass with your hand is called Muslim style. In New style. York, they call it New York style pizza, even yeah. though we're here. Yeah. yeah. Yo, you got check me there. <laughs> we're, she's Good a work. freaking professor, dude. Yeah, dude. So, you know, time uh, to go back to fucking class. That's an own, dude. All right. So then, but then two days later, 
I see this Chinese lady, broad daylight, Canal Street, and her sons, her like five-year-old sons next to her, and the kid's got his pants pulled all the way down to his ankles, and the mom is holding the son's penis <laughs> and directing the flow of his urine all over the sidewalk. <laughs> But don't you just not need to really do that with like a baby if you can stand? Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, on, he's never told you this before. Baby it's dicks. so funny, dude. She's just holding a little he's tiny dick, holding this dick. <laughs> and he's he's pulling his shirt up. <laughs> He's got like a Hamtaro shirt. The only on. reason I'm not laughing is Dixon told this a million times. You've never heard him say this huh? before. I have, but it's this. fucking hilarious. It's so dude. funny. It's dude, the funniest thing she's ever. Just hold, she's just like annoyingly holding a little ass dick, dude. Yeah, my, yeah a no, little uncircumcised Chinese dick. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. My mom never had to hold my dick. Why? Because I knew how to hold my own fucking dick. Yeah, that's true. You're a human being. You have some like. Uh, uh, but you said uh, it was innate. like a baby. No, it was like a five year old. Oh. But he doesn't know how to it's piss his oh, If you're old oh. enough to walk, you're old enough not to have your mom hold your dick for you. No, that's some, not true. No, no, you can walk. In that's the cultures, pants, dude. dude. That's cultures. You gotta respect Plus, it. He doesn't. It's his first time pissing outside. You know. Yeah. He doesn't know how to what to do with his dick. Yeah, I mean, he was probably drunk. <laughs> he's <laughs> fucked up. He's wasted. Oh fucking. Saki, yeah, Saki, my dick off. <laughs> my man. Whoa. My friend. My friend lived in China, oh, yeah. and he said that. They don't drink often, but when they drink, it's just, <gasps> it's like sitting down at a table to get blackout obliterated mm. as drunk as you can. Yeah. That sounds fun. Where yeah. in China? He lived in the south of China in like what was yeah, considered yeah. a vacation city. Some Beijing. fucking. Well, he lived in a vacation city too. <coughs> yeah, yeah. You know, movie <laughs> fucking rules? No, no, no. Yeah, of course. The Jet Li movie, uh, was it Legend? Uh, I don't know. With the ponytail, the long ass ponytail? That he's like whipping around. No, that's Willow Smith style. No, it's the one where he's uh, he plays that Chinese like fighter in the, like the Qing Dynasty or some shit. And, yeah, 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 yeah. And I don't then uh, that. yeah, and then like they like that, he has like a really long this, middle ponytail. He has to represent China in these all these fights against the West, and he like beats the shit out of all these. Like, oh, that's tight. Yeah, it's. A good I'll watch movie. that. You want to? I yeah. love Jet Li, dude. Me too. What's Jet the last Li, thing Jet he was, was in? Jet Li, we talked about it on the other podcast. How they made him speak English? Yeah, the one yeah. came out and it was like such a fucking disappointing movie because yeah. he's like a terrible actor when he has to speak English. Right. Oh, I finally ordered. That's right. Wow, that took the entire. That took. Yeah. I can tell you, it took literally uh, thirty-seven minutes. <laughs> no shit. You high bitch. <laughs> Damn, my girl furred. Uh, what's the funniest slang for fucked up that you guys know? Shivered. Chivered? Oh, Chivered. That's my favorite. Yeah. Chivered? No, Chivered. Like, like Terry Chivered. Like it, it sounds like Hebrew? Yeah, no, it's like funny. in high school, we'd be like, yo, I'm getting fucking Chivered this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> yo, my sister good. gave me a bottle of Malibu. We're going to get fucking Chivered. 